Today, we are taking you to discover three places you cannot miss in Le Marche. Hi Seekers, we are Matt and Angie, a queer couple with the dream of road tripping Italy. We are living in a kind of converted car and as you see, we love taking you along this journey. So let's explore the first gem of this incredible region. We are in Urbino! Yes! and today we are gonna go explore it. From the free parking spot where we left our car, we walked less than 10 minutes up to the city center of this small university city. It is a world medieval city and it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Our first stop is Chiesa di San Domenico. And now let's visit Palazzo Ducale with Galleria Nazionale delle Marche. We paid a total of 4 euros because we are under 25 years old. Urbino's Ducal Palace, or Palazzo Ducale, was the first of its kind to be built in Italy. Since 1912, Palazzo Ducale has been home to the National Gallery of Le Marche, housing one of the world's most important collections of Renaissance paintings. You can even climb one of its towers to see the incredible view over the hills. We came to Palazzo Ducale to mainly see a painting we are about to find out. It's called The Flagellation of Christ by Piero della Francesca and it's spectacular. We are now in front of Cattedrale di Santa Maria Assunta. We are now in Piazza della Repubblica, the main square of Urbino. And we are exiting from Porta Valbona. To go back to the parking lot, which is on the other side of the city center, we have to cross the city center again and we are entering back into the walls from these cool stairs called Scale Liquidali. And like that, we are back in the city center. We came back from Urbino and it was uh, really, really great. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, me too. Good energy, great people walking around, a lot of tourists, really, really nice. Now I'm starving. It's 1 p.m. and I'm super hungry. Let's go eat something. <laughs> Today for lunch we are having some piadine with arugula, kind of a vegan cheese and some olives. Taste test to Angie. It's really really good, the cheese, it's very tasty and it's a perfect combo with uh, arugula and olives. The piadina is uh, really crunchy but also soft so I love it. And now with a full belly and since we managed to do everything to see in Urbino so quickly and it's about 3 p.m. Yeah. We want to continue exploring the market. Let's go. Let's continue exploring it. I'm so curious to yeah, see Yeah, me too. There's a cool place we are heading to. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
We arrived at Marmite dei Giganti, which is a super cool place where you can do some canoeing on this narrow river, which has many big pools. The fact is that we were supposed to do a canoeing tomorrow morning, but it's raining tomorrow morning. So we have decided to not do the canoeing also because the water is really dirty, but we are going to show you the Marmite dei Giganti in the best way possible. After I've seen the Marmite dei Giganti, I'm so curious to see another standing place. We managed to arrive and now we are gonna go explore Tempio del Valadier. I can see something. The Tempio di Valadier, or better said, Valadier's Temple, is an incredible building built inside a cave. It's surreal how they managed to build it here. It's very much pretty. Okay, seekers, wow, what a day. Literally, it was a long one. Eh? Yeah. I, Even for you, I think. <laughs> I'm really tired. Me too. But also really happy because today we discovered three amazing places. Yeah, and we saw a lot, actually. I'm really proud of us. Yeah, me too. I'm really proud of you too. <laughs> anyway, it's time to say goodbye. See you in another vlog. Bye-bye, seekers. Bye.